if you click alt plus d you can see that it changes simultaneously dark mode to the light and light to dark cool right in this video i will show you how to add a keyboard shortcut to turn dark mode on and off in windows 11 for this you will need to download the ec dark mode utility it is a lightweight third party program to quickly switch between dark and light mode. EC Dark Mode offers plenty of customization options. So how to set the dark mode in Windows 11? For that, you have to download the EC Dark Mode executable file. For that, you have to visit this website that is windtools.info and then to the dark mode. I'll share the link in the description, you can copy it from there. Now once you are in, just scroll down and download this executable file. Just click on download. Now you can see that the dark mode.ese is downloaded. Now you have to run the EC dark mode executable file. It's a portable application and doesn't require any installation. You can just run it. That's it. Now if you go to the system tray, you, you will see the EC dark mode app icon in the system tray. This is the one I am talking about. You can click on icon to enable and disable the dark mode. Just click on it. And now the dark mode is enabled. You can see that it's dark mode. And if you click on it again, it will change to light mode. Now how to set a keyboard shortcut. To set a keyboard shortcut, right click on the EC dark mode icon and then select hotkey. Just right click on it and select hotkey. Now from here, in the hotkey settings dialog, click the drop down and select any letter. For example, I am selecting D. To enable the dark mode and select D and then check the alt box. That is the combination I am selecting so and click on OK. You can disable the dark mode from here too using the disable button. Just now click on OK and from here you can see if you click Alt plus D you can see that it changes simultaneously. Dark mode to the light and light to dark. Cool right? Since EC Dark Mode is a portable application, you will need to enable the auto start feature for the app. To do this, just go to the system tray. From here, right click on the app icon, and from here, you have an option auto start. Just click on that, and the app will start with the operating system. So, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.